Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Walter, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you, mister? I am fine, teacher. That's great, awesome. What about your weekend? How was the weekend for you? I... I go to the park. I went. My, I, I went to I went to the park with, with my family. I play basketball with my daughter. 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 Okay, that's cool. I went to my mom. Celebrate, celebration, happy, oh, no, 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 no. To celebrate her birthday? Uh -huh. Yes. Excellent. That's awesome. How old is she now? How old is she now? ¿Cuántos años tiene? Ah. Uh. 77. 77. Oh my gosh. 77. So nice. Okay, okay. Excellent. Excellent. So you had a celebration. That's always good, right? Yes. What a good opportunity sharing with your mom a celebration and your family. Do you have brothers and sisters? Do you have yeah. brothers and sisters? 
Yes. Two, two sisters. Two sisters? Sí, yes. Oh my gosh. That's nice. How old are they? How old are they? ¿Cuántos años tienen ellas? Um, for, uh, 50. 50? 50 is um, 48. Oh my gosh. What about you? Um, Man, you don't look like. Ni se le nota. I thought you were younger. Cool. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah, because I'm 43 and I, I look old. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay, okay, that's nice. Good, that's good nice. evening. Good evening, good evening, Robert. Well, Walter, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Fatima Laura, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Mommy. Hello. I'm fine. How was the weekend for you? Mm -hmm. Um, Good. Good? Yes. What did you do? El sábado fui a bailar. Oh, really? I went dancing? Yes. I went Más dancing. Comer. Repeat after me. I went dancing. I went dancing. On Saturday. On Saturday. That's so cool. That's nice. That's nice. Where did you go? ¿Para dónde fue? Aquí mismo en mi canto. Oh, so nice. Sí. No, no, no. I went um, Friday. I went dancing. I went. I went dancing on Friday. Yo el viernes. Ah, qué bien. Yeah. Me gusta bailar. Oh, I love dancing. <laughs> somos ya somos dos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. Once in a while, it's cool. Okay, okay. Well, nice having you here, Fatima. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Let's see. Hey, Robert. You're moving around. Robert Beltran. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I feel super good. Oh, really? Yeah, I feel super good. Okay, okay. How was the weekend for you? The weekend is... I didn't, I didn't anything interesting. I stayed at home with my family here. Well, that's always good. I didn't. I, I know I, you enjoy spending time with your son. Yeah, I have always spent time with him. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that's a very good, and that's interesting to be able to spend time with your with your kid is something special I, yeah i have to be able yeah i don't care if i have to work i, I don't care if i have to do many homeworks if there are many i don't know how can i say the horse shorts house, house shorts. shorts yeah house shorts. The horse shorts i i have to be able to keep with him I have to be able to play with him. So I love to spend time with him. That's nice. That's nice. So glad to hear it. Robert, a pleasure to have you here and welcome. The pleasure was mine, Tisha. And uh, always mine, always mine. Okay, Thank you, let's see. Robert Guzman, hello. How are you, mister? Fine. I'm fine, Tisha. How was the weekend for you? Oh, uh, so so. So so. Why, man? Yes. Uh, the last weekend I was on sick. Oh, really? Yes. It's oh. not good for me the weekend. Um, 
but today uh, I uh, amanecí. I woke up. I woke up uh, so better, so better. Okay, doing better. I woke up doing better. Yes. And, and the word is... At so work. Very, sad word, so very tired because uh, I have a lot, lot of work. Okay, well, what can we do, right? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Yes. I mean, working is like that. Always something to do. Robert, nice having you here and welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Who else is around? Sandra, Sandra Alvarado. Hello, good evening. Perhaps not available. Roxana, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Roxana. So good to have you. How are you? I'm fine. How's the baby? Uh, resting. Resting. Okay. Mm. So you don't pinch it? No la estado apoyando usted? No, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. How old is she now? ¿Cuánto tiene ya? Uh, two months. Two months. Oh my gosh. Two days. Wow. Man, time flies. ¿Cómo vuela el tiempo? Está, ¿cómo se dice gorda? Fat. Fat, little, little fat. That's normal. They're drinking milk. She's breastfeeding. Se está yeah. mamantando. That's normal. Mucho. Mucho. Yeah, yeah. That's normal. That's normal. Don't worry. I mean, little babies are like that. Robert's got a little baby too, right there. <laughs> you see? Man. Yeah, little kiddos are like that, Roxanne. They get fat very fast. They eat. I mean, they just eat and sleep. That's what all that's all they do. That's all okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? How was the weekend for you? Uh, my weekend was a bit heavy. Oh, really? Many but things I... to do? Mucho que hacer? Um, my mom. Oh, yeah, you told me, you told me. Yeah, yeah that's something See, difficult yeah, because no, when yeah. some. When somebody's sick, we gotta take care of everything, and it's hard. Yeah, yeah. Como que tuviéramos dos babies. Yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. I understand you. Yeah. Okay. Well, nice to have you here. Qué bueno tenerla por acá. Thanks, teacher. No, thanks to you, and welcome. Let's see, Jaime. Hello, Jaime. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. How was the weekend, Jaime? Um, my weekend was very short. And I rest only Sunday. Only but Sunday. Saturday, yeah, but Saturday, Saturday I am working. You worked on Saturday. Yes. Okay. Well, I have a, a hard day. Um, my day was hectic. Really? On, on, on Saturday. 
And today, um, hard day, very, very hard day. Okay, well, yeah, Sundays are hard, right? Yes. Well, but I mean, there's no way out, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we have, we got those bad habits. Nos metimos en esos malos, malos hábitos. Those vices like eating, como comer, and stuff like that, right? Uh, sleeping. Yeah, yeah. And if you want to eat, you need money. If you will need money, you have to work. So. ¿Quién se habrá inventado comer tres veces al día? Yeah, big problem, right? Big problem. <laughs> and coffee and sweet bread. Y el café con pan, man. Yeah. That's a big problem. Yes. Hey, Jaime, nice having you here. Welcome. <laughs> okay, thank you. Karen Patricia Ramírez, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. You're fine? Okay, okay. And tell me. How was your day? Well, how was your weekend? For the moment, very good. Very okay. well. Up to now, hasta este momento, up to now. Up to now. Up to now. Up to now. Okay. At the moment, you say, at the moment, everything is fine. We don't know later. Well, that's cool. That's cool. How was the weekend? How was the weekend? So so. So so. Why? So, you so. have to work? No. My daughter is enferma en inglés, como se dice, teacher. Is sick. What's she got? ¿Qué le llegó? The flu? Uh, infection. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's going around. Anda dando Entonces, hacemos nosotros. Sí, bastante. Entonces ahí la tengo un poco malita todavía, pero ahí vamos. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, the treatment, let's follow the treatment. Hay que seguir el tratamiento. What else? ¿Qué más nos queda, sí. right? Yes, teacher. But you doing okay? Pero usted está bien? Yes, teacher. Excellent, excellent. And so nice to have you here. Qué bueno tenerla teacher. por acá. Yes? Este, por acá empieza a llover por si me desconectas porque se me fue la luz o porque la señal me falla. Okay, don't worry, I understand it. Okay, thank you. Let's hope it doesn't affect you. Okay, guys. Well, let me get the attendance so we can get rid of that step. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemus. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. <laughs> Present. <laughs> Present, Thank teacher. You, Gabriela. Thank you, Walter. Karen Patricia Ramirez Pérez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Ana María Rivas Durán. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present, teacher. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Thank you. Pati Maricet Pineda Paniagua. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Hello. 
Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardón Hernández. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present. Ok. Eh, Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Present, teacher. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present, teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present, teacher. José Edwin Valles Franco. Present. Ok, guys, thank you. Did I mention everybody? Lo menciona a todos. Right. Sí, yes. a mí me mencionó. Fátima. Mm. Fátima. Oh, where are you? Tu, 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 tu. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Thank you. Present. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Gracias. Okay, guys, let's continue. Today, the, the greeting is going to be shorter. Or la, el saludo está siendo más corto because if you remember, we need to review the, the, the passive voice, right? We need to continue with the explanation. Vamos a continuar más adelante con la explicación de la passive voice. Sonia Guadalupe, hello, how are you? I'm fine. How was your day? Good. And what about the weekend? Mm, so so. So so. Why so so? I went to work on Saturday. Okay. You don't usually work Saturdays. No suele trabajar los Saturdays. Yes. Okay, and Sunday, what did you do on Sunday? Sunday. I went shopping. Oh, really? Yes. That's cool. Okay, what did you buy? ¿Qué compró? Pues, lo de la comida para lo de la quincena. Okay, groceries. 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 That's nice. Yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much and welcome. Bienvenida. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Catherine, hello, Catherine, how are you? No estoy. <laughs> Come on. How's that? ¿Cómo es eso? Hello, teacher. Hello. I am fine. I am fine. You're fine? Okay. Tell me, tell me, yep. Catherine. <laughs> Did you born on the weekend? Se quemó. No. <laughs> no yet. Oh, no. No. <laughs> okay, okay. So you go to church on Sundays, right? Yes. Sundays morning or afternoon? No, no, Sunday, no, eh, Saturday. Saturday. Sí, me confunde. <laughs> okay, and Sunday, what do you do? What did you do? Eh, in the morning, a uh, eh, supermarket. Okay, I went to the supermarket. I went to the supermarket. Okay, and in the in afternoon? The af in the afternoon, I uh, clean the house. Oh, that's nice. Yes, and read, read 
a little. Oh, really? You were reading? What were you reading? ¿Qué estuve leyendo? Eh, se llama Ciudad de Media Luna. El mismo que tengo. Ciudad de Media Luna. De Sara. Yeah. Sara J. Mas. Yes. Okay. Y en practice a uh, lettering, creo que se llama. Lettering se escribe, creo. Oh, really? Yes. Ok, ok, ok. Well, do you want me to tell you the, the story? ¿Quiere que le cuente la historia de Ciudad de Media Luna? I can no. tell you the end. No, no, no. Me voy a desconectar. ¿Le cuento el final? No. Ah, come on, come on. <risa> Ni se atreva. Ah. <risa> Cuando lo termine, hablamos. Ok, ok. Won't <risa> say anything. <risa> And you, teacher? Well, uh, I finished reading the series. Terminé de leer la serie de Ciudad de Media Luna. <risa> I read all the books. Ya leí todos los libros. I can spoil them for you. Te los puedo <risa> me arruinar. los presta. Pero me I, los puede prestar. I read them digitally, actually. Ooh. I read them in, in my phone. Oh, uh, pues mándelo. Pase sure. el link. <risa> no problem. Yeah, it's just that uh, the, my problem is that I read too much and too fast. So buying is uh, al ritmo que leo is a problem because I read around two or three books per week. Me leo de dos a tres libros por semana. So <laughs> me gana, me gana. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. I mean, it's yo quiero a comprar uno. Bueno, Which dos one? que me han llamado la atención. Which one are they? Eh, uno se llama Sigue mi voz okay. de Ariana Godoy y el otro se llama no sé cómo se pronuncia pero Damián Damián este okay. es de asesinatos oh that's my thing eso me gusta <ríe> igual <ríe> Ok, bueno, well, Catherine, nice having you here. Qué bueno que la tenemos por acá. Thank you, teacher. Ok, ok, ok. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see. Mm -hmm. David, hello, David. I saw David around. David Armando, David Armando, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Well, very good. How was the weekend? Saturdays are hard for you, I know. Sé que los sábados son yeah. terrible. Yeah. All today, work. And Sunday, and what did you do? In the, in the morning, the, the watch series, my, my son. And the afternoon, I went to help my brother and the and the to cook tree. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. To, to cut down. To cut down a tree. Cut down a tree. Yes, ma. Me picaron todo no dormir un palo que había dicho. Oh, really? Well, you were busy. Estuvo ocupado. Yes. Ok, ok, ok. Well, David, welcome to the class. Bienvenido. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Ok, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Brenda, I saw Brenda around. Hello, Brenda. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, so, so. Okay, how was the weekend? Um, very good. 
Okay, okay. What did you do? Okay, so. Hello, Brenda. Mm. No problem, no problem. Tell me, what did you do in the weekend? Mm. Good, good. Good, good? Mm. Yes. Okay, that's um, nice. Mission working. A lot of work. A lot of working. Okay, excellent. Doing the house chores, I imagine. Haciendo el oficio, ¿no? Mm, yes. Um, in study. Studying. Mm -hmm. eh, como estudio los domingos. Okay, what do you study? ¿Qué estudia? Mm, terma, terminando el tercer ciclo. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So you keep busy, paso ocupada. Yes. Okay, that's nice. Brenda, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. And Ana Maria. Hello, teacher. Hello, Ana Maria. How are you? Fine. Fine. Excellent. How was the weekend? ¿Cómo fue el weekend? Fine. Okay, okay. And tell me, what did you do? ¿Qué hizo? The Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. I work in the morning and in the afternoon. I went to buy groceries for week. Y en Sunday, the same as usual. The same as usual. Busy. I do laundry and cleaning my house. Okay. Excellent. Welcome to the class, Ana Maria. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, welcome all of you. I'm sorry that if I cannot greet all of you personally, welcome Ruth. Uh, Let's see, Sonia, I didn't talk to all of you, no pude hablar con todos, uh, Karen, but welcome guys, Yamara. Uh, let's see, today we're going to move a little bit faster because I need to continue with the explanation. Remember the passive voice is going to be a little bit long, but uh, I hope you could check the, 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 the presentation, the PDF. Espero que hayan podido revisar el PDF because we are going to work on it today vamos a trabajarlo ahora okay let's see but before that we are gonna work a little bit with the manual vamos a trabajar also with the manual in the manual we are in unit one the topic we are working is company identity that's the topic okay in the manual we got us a couple of questions that we are going to be discussing tenemos un par de preguntas que vamos a discutir Okay, the questions are the following ones. Okay, what is the reputation? How do business build their reputation? Question number one, question number two. That's the only ones that we are going to work with. Okay, so I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. You're going to have three minutes to answer those two questions as groups, okay? So the groups are created. Please jump in, just three minutes. This is very simple. It's like a warm-up, es un calentamiento, okay?
Este, ¿nos puede explicar qué vamos a hacer? <risas> Answer the two questions, contestar las preguntas. Ah, solamente. Yep. Gracias, gracias. No, thank you. You're welcome. Ah, que hablemos algo. Answer the questions, solo contestar las preguntas. Esas dos que he enviado. Yep. Ok. Ok. De manera individual, pues, me imagino que van a hacer. Yes, please. Ok, ok. Ok. Teacher. No, as a group, as a group, as a group, como grupo. Ok. Ok. Ya la voy a escribir primero. Es que yo no sé. Igual ahorita voy a escribir. Sí. Son dos preguntas, ¿verdad? Ya, ya lo tiene. No, 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 no. no. La primera dice que es la reputación. La segunda, ¿cómo construyen las empresas su reputación? Ok. Este. Um, ¿Cómo? Qué, ¿Qué le ponemos ahí? Sería como. Es, ¿Cuál qué es reputación? Lo, lo ponemos. Es como la huella que ha dejado. O la fama que se ha creado. Ajá. Ajá. La... ¿Cómo escribiríamos eso? Um, is the was to create the The artist, to creator. The fame, to creator. Ah. Vaya. To creator. Ah. Y la número dos. Eh, tengo lo correcto. La segunda dice cómo las empresas han creado su reputación. Ajá, como... Creando... Ah, ¿cómo, con... ¿Cómo construyen las empresas su reputación? Ajá, con, con, en base a disciplina y... Y, y más... Sería con disciplina... Constancia. ¿Y cómo? Constancia. ¿Pero cómo se escribe disciplina? Yo creo que se escribe disciplina. Disciplina. Yes, you're right. Ah. Disciplina. En...
Sí, porque la, 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 las preguntas son estas. ¿Qué es la reputación? ¿Qué contribuye algo así, dice? ¿Pero eso? Teacher. Yes. ¿Nosotros vamos a responderlo eso en inglés o solo vamos a practicarlo? Answer. I want one answer per group. Quiero una respuesta por grupo. Ah, ok. <coughs> Reputación se entiende como como la imagen de la empresa, algo así, ¿verdad? Yeah, you could say so. Podría decirlo así. Hello, ladies. You answering the questions? Pensando. Mm. Mm. <laughs> en la segunda. Y traduciendo. Hey <laughs> guys, finish. No. No yet. Remember, one answer per group. Quiero una respuesta por grupo. Dudando de esto. Yo igual. No, Tell me. ¿Usted no revisó, Franco? Hola. ¿Usted no revisó? Okay. Sobre eso, de, de cuál era el número de, de lo de las preguntas. Eh, la página, se las comparto ahorita en pantalla. Eh, en realidad no me fijé la página, pero encontré la. Página 15 decía. Hey guys, these two questions, las dos que les compartí en el grupo de WhatsApp y que les he compartido acá en el, en el chat de Zoom. Just the first two, solo las primeras dos. Las primeras dos, la tercera no. No. Ok. Ah, la tercera vamos a contestar. Entonces, ¿cómo ponemos en la, en la segunda? ¿Cómo se construye la reputación del, del negocio? Finish up, guys. A good business reputation creates values, values, plural, for the brand and avoids conflict. And is built from good practices of social responsibility, consistency, clear and transversal ethical values, good internal and external communication, and increases containment. Está bien. Yeah, it's from the book. Mm -hmm. Values, different one. Values. Oh, yep, yeah, values. Thank you, teacher. No va a notar de un sol. Cool, do it. Teacher. Yes. ¿Cree que uno puede aprender algo en esa aplicación que se llama Duolingo? It's good for practicing. Ah, para practicar. It's good. He visto muchos memes. I mean, the thing is this, look, remember, 
the more you practice, the more you learn. And if you practice from different places, you are learning. Mientras usted más practique, más aprende. Mm. And you always have to practice extra, practice extra all the time. You can also here, you can do the exercise from the platform more than once. Usted puede hacer los ejercicios de la plataforma más de una vez also. That helps. Sí, también. También una vez me dieron un consejo que podría así, digamos, empezar descargando una película y verla, digamos, así solo en inglés y la cambiando así. Yeah, but at the level that you are, uh, you can do it with titles in English. Al nivel que usted está, véala con los títulos en inglés. That way you are going to be getting the, the listening and the reading. Mm, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, guys, in two minutes, two minutes, because it has become long, but two minutes and we finish, okay? Be ready. Hey, Roxana, fighting with the connection, peleando con la conexión. Sí, teacher, no me deja entrar al grupo, al, a la sala. Yeah, must be the connection. Puede ser por la conexión. Pero ya la respondí yo solito. Ok, cool. Okay, let's see, everybody's coming back. Todo bien.
Okay, guys, let's see the first question. The first question, what? What is reputation? What is reputation, Ana Consuelo? What can you tell me? Hi. What is reputation? ¿Qué reputación? Es la es la opinión que tienen las personas, las otras personas sobre uno. Okay, the opinions other people got, have about oneself in English, in English. Remember, remember. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, um. Give me one second that I need to check a little something here. Jose Edwin Valle Franco. What is reputation? What do you think is reputation, mister? I have them, it's them. Than others think of us. Okay, what other things of us? Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's see. Uh, 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 um. <laughs> Karen Castillo, what's your opinion? What is reputation? What is reputation? The first question. La primera pregunta. What is reputation? Um, opinion, idea, or concept they have about a person or company. Okay, okay. Perfect, thank you. Now let's see, Jaime, how does a company build its reputation? Um, with discipline and no sé cómo se dice constancia. Constancy, constant. Constancy and quality. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Robert Beltran, what about you? What's your opinion? The second question. Okay, what the companies building for the reputation? Yes. Okay, I think the company has to work with the client hand by hand, even with their employees, and give a good concept about it or show their products, their uh, maybe even the the prices, the good prices, uh, how to, I don't know how I can explain it. Okay, no, that's okay. I understand you, got you, got you. Okay, Okay, now let's see. Uh, 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 one last. Catherine, tell me, what's your opinion? How does a company build its reputation? Okay. A good business. Business. Rep business reputation, Chris. <laughs> Values for the bread and a voice conflict. And is built from built. Como? Built. Built from good practice of social social, social responsibility, consistency, clear and transversal ethical values, good internal and external communication and crisis containment. Crisis containment. Crisis containment. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. 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 Okay, guys. Well, let me share with you 
Thank you very much. I know all of you did the activity, but we need to move on. Continuamos. Okay. Well, you get a conversation, page 15. Listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Okay. And the conversation goes like this. Give me just one second. Okay. So, Jessica. What does your company do? At REX, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is REX known for? REX is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. REX is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, guys, I repeat. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At REX, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is REX known for? REX is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. REX is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. I will repeat one last time, okay? So, Jessica, what does your company do at R-E-X, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is R-E-X known for? R-E-X is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for R-E-X? Absolutely. REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. REX is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, guys. I'm going to send you to the groups. You're going to have four minutes to practice and then we come back. Okay, let me see. Groups are created. Jump in.
Oh, hello, teacher. Hello, mister. Uh, no me apareció el, el, el... Ahí para unirme a la sala. Don't worry, don't worry. You're not the only one right now. No es el único ahorita. Okay. It's the connection. It's giving problems. La conexión está dando líos. Okay. Oh, vaya, lo voy a mandar a una y luego lo regreso a la que le corresponde, ¿ok? Bueno, bueno, gracias. A mí también, teacher, mándame a una. Hola, Ana María. Sí, no pude entrar. Ok, Te let's mando... do something. Let's do something, guys. Uh, you can do it here. Háganlo acá. Ah, ok. There's Ruth, there's uh, Jaime, there's Catherine. Ni modo. <laughs> Aquí nos tocó. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Jaime. How are you? Bien, bien, bien. Okay. Este, aquí vamos a compartir la imagen. Um, quizás sí por... No, pero ya lo, ya lo, ya lo envió el título. No sé por qué, pero así con el teacher me da pena. Come on. Sí, me da penita. Okay. Voy a buscar la imagen. No. Hello. Hello. Are you practicing, guys? Estamos practicando. Sí, empezando y vamos. I'm sorry, I'm sorry then for interrupting. Disculpen por interrumpir. No. Continue, continue. I'll go to another room. Hola. Sí, que no sé, yo solo veo, solo veo a Stanley, yo no veo a nadie más. Ruth en Stanley. No, casi no se puede, profe, porque como que está la interferencia de Jaime con Kat, con sí, Catherine. No sé. Yo escucho a los demás, pero. Oh, really? That's so weird. Qué extraño. Okay, let's do something. Lo voy a mandar a otro grupo. Perhaps okay. there you can do it better. ¿Qué sería yo, Cualquiera. I see. And what is our... Let me check the other groups. Reconar. Prestigion. Prestigion. Company in El Salvador. Bye. Ahora empiezo yo y usted termina. Bueno. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Ariex is right 
rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. <coughs> en la última. The recording has stopped. ¿Sacó? ¿En cuál? ¿En cuál? Recognize. Están late. Recognize. Recognize. Ok, the situation is this. Ruth ¿Cómo? is connected with two devices. Ruth, usted está conectada con dos dispositivos. Recognize. No, solo con uno. El sistema me lo reconoce con dos. En uno aparece como Ruth Benítez y en el otro como Ruth Margot Benítez. Entonces, con uno está conectada en el main room, que es donde ellos están trabajando. No, estoy solo con uno, solo okay. con la computadora. So, Jessica, Vea si lo abierto en dos pantallas diferentes. Ah, bueno. No. Porque el sistema me reconoce que usted tiene dos conexiones. Una como Ruth Margot Benítez y la otra como Ruth Benítez. Ya está mala la señal. Ok, ahorita veo. Ariel, at Ariel, the close for the kids. I see. And what is Ariel no for? Ariel no for. Ya no sé ni cómo salirme. Time and the quality of the clothes. Absolutely. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia en, la, en el penúltimo párrafo que Jessica responde? Absolutely. 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 Y después está la, en negrita, recognize. 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 Quiero ver. Y la siguiente en el párrafo de Daniel, el último. Después de REX, is. Radel. Radel. Yes, Radel. Radel. Ok. Quiero ver qué más hay. La, en ese mismo rap párrafo, la, la primera palabra. Congratulations. 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 Ah, ya. Tenía mis dudas. Y quiero ver en la primera conversación que hace Jessica, que dice, Ah, REX, we produce clothes. Así es. Yes. Clothes for kids. Ah. Yes. Ah, pues sí, estamos bien. Creo que eso de eso. Reconnais, reconnais, y te perdiste. Usted, otra pregunta que tenga a Alvarado. Absolutely. Absolutely. Así es, ¿verdad? Yes. Absolutely. Eh, solo como que pronuncia solo la T. Absolutely. 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 Ajá. R -E -X is. ¿Cómo dijo que se presionó? Recognize. 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 Sí, solo esta, creo. Real. Oh, prestigios. Eh, okay, thanks, teacher. Recognize. 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 Rated as one of the ten most prestigious companies.
Yanis y Alvador. Okay. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At REX, we produce clothes for kids. Vamos a más. Dale, Jaime. Ay, sí. What happened, Fátima? Mande. ¿Qué pasó? Uh, estábamos practicando, pero dijo que iba a ir a hacer un, una cosita. Ok, 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 ok. Pero sí, ya estuvimos practicando. Ok, let's see. No, es que el mensaje se lo mandé porque como le mandé varios mensajes diciendo que me había dejado sola. Y no me esperé. Mm. Yeah, but <laughs> I came here to look for you. Es que me asomé por aquí. Estaba acompañada, so. But it's almost time. Ya casi es el momento. Let's go back. Okay. Hola, ya vine. Vaya. Ok. Démosle entonces, Catherine. Yo creo que ya vienen todos, mejor ya no hablemos. Oh, vaya. <risa> ya anda Ruth por ahí. Oh, no te no por ahí. Hello. Everybody's coming back? Yes. Okay, guys, let's see. Well, let me get the attendance, please. Oh, 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 let's see, let's see. Attendance. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemos. I hear teacher. Thank you. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Present teacher. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present. Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Present teacher. Ana María Rivas Durán. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Thank you, Brenda. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Here, teacher. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. <laughs> Fátima Lisette Pineda Paniagua. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Thank you, Robert. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. 
Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Present teacher. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. José Edwin Valle Franco. Present. Thank you, guys. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Ana María. Hello. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, give me just one second. Okay, here we go. Fatima Laura and Guillermo Josue Osorio. You start, guys. ¿Quién empieza? Guillermo. Okay. So, Jessica. What are you company do? Our, our, at REX, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And um, what is REX known for? REX is known for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are a guy. REX is great as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Perfect, thank you very much. Brenda Díaz and Roxana Ramirez. ¿Quién empieza, teacher? Brenda, you start. Ya está lista, Roxana. Ya. Ya. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At REX, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what REX no for kids? REX is known for the most design, design and the quality of the clothes we make. Right. And are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. REX is recognized is a very prestigious company the their personal is important for them congratulations jessica you are right rex is right one of the same most pressing pressing company in el salvador is rated is rated as prestigious yes. prestigious Yes. Right. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Ana Consuelo and Xiomara Elizabeth. Uh, uh, Xiomara, you, you start. You start, you start, you start. And so, Jessica, what do you company do? At REX, we produce clothes for kids. I see. I... What is RES known for? RES is known for the modern design and the quality of the closet we made. Great. Hi. Are you happy to work for RES? 
actually REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. The principal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. RES is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies is in El Salvador. Thank you very much. Thank you. Roberto Guzman and Sonia Guadalupe. Okay, teacher. Uh, Sonia, you start. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At RAS, we produce clothes for kids. I see. Um, what is RES now for? RES is now for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. REX is recognized, recognized as a very prestigious company. The personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You write REX X is right as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Perfect, thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Uh, Carla Beatriz. Hello, teacher. And Walter Reyes. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Walter, <laughs> you start. So, Jessica, what does your company do? Uh, yes, we produce, produce, uh -huh. produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is IRS now for? IRS, IRS is now for the modern testing and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for IES? Absolutely. IES is recognized as very prestigious um, company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right, REX is rated as one of the, the most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Perfect, thank you very much, guys. Well done. Gabriela Vázquez and Sandra Alvarado. Yes. ¿Quién comienza? Uh, Sandra. So, Jessica, what, what does your company do? At uh, REX, we, produ we produce clothes for kids. I see, and what, and what is REX no for? RES is known for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for RES? Absolutely. RES is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. REX is Raider. 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 As one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. 
Perfect. Thank you very much. You're right. You're right. You're right. Right. Okay. Let's see. Karen Castillo and Ana Maria. Empieza. How long? We are waiting for Karen. Karen Castillo. Okay. Karen, you start. Yes. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At RES, we produce clothes for kids. I see. I what if? R-E-X, no, for. R-E-X is no for the model designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for R-E-X? Absolutely. R-E-X is recognized as very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for team. Okay. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. REX is Raider Raiden as one of the ten most prestigious. Prestigious companies is in El Salvador. Thank you very much. David Armando and Monica Liliana. <laughs> yes, yes. David, you start. So Jessica, what does you what what do your company do? At R -E -X. R -E -X. R E X. R E X. With production clothing for kit. I see. I what is R E X no for? R E X is no for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. Hi. Are you happy to work for REX? <clears throat> Absolutely. REX is recon recon recognized. Recognized is a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right, REX is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Very well done, thank you. Jose Edwin and Karen Patricia. ¿Quién empieza, teacher? Okay, Jose Edwin, you start. Okay. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At REX, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And um, what is REX now for? REX is now for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. Um, are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. REX is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Perfect. Thank you very much. Well done, guys. Jaime Enrique and Catherine. Okay. Okay. So, Jessica, what does your company do? Mm -hmm. At REX, we produce clothes for kids. I see. 
And what is REX known for? REX is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. REX -E is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. REX is rated as one of 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Perfect. Thank you very much. Ruth Margot and Stanley Cardona. Okay. Can you see this? Stanley. So, Jesse, what, do, what does your company do? At REX, we produce clothes for kids. I said I want it to know for. REX is known for the modern design and the quality of the clothes <laughs> we make. Great, I are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. <sighs> Congratulations, Jessica. You rate Rex in real as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, Robert Beltran. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Let's see, who else is missing? ¿Quién más me falta besides Robert? Well, I guess Robert, as usual, is me and you. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At REX, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is REX known for? REX is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for REX? Absolutely. REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. REX is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Robert, you start now, please. Okay. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At REX, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is REX known for? REX is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work with REX? Absolutely. REX is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. REX is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Perfect. And thank you very much, Robert. Good teacher. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Very well done. Good activity. Now, give me just a second. We are doing the next exercise. Okay.
Okay, we already seen the gerunds. And we are working on the passive, okay? If you remember, we have this example. Mary designs a beautiful dress. A beautiful dress is designed by Mary. We were talking about that the subject and the object of the sentence, that the object becomes the subject and the subject becomes the agent, right? So, Mary designs a beautiful dress. That's simple present. As it is simple present, I told you that we use the verb be as an auxiliary. Les comentaba que el verbo be es un auxiliar. So, a beautiful dress, dress is, in the passive voice, en la voz pasiva, the auxiliary is the one that goes in the tense of the sentence. El auxiliar es el que va en el tiempo de la oración activa. Okay? So, Mary designs. Mary diseña, presente, simple present. So, a beautiful dress is simple present. The main verb in past participle. El verbo principal en pasado participio. Okay? You see, the verb to be in the simple present is the auxiliary and the main verb in the past participle. So, we got the girl boys buys a new pair of shoes. Tenemos esta oración. The girl buys a new pair of shoes. A new pair of shoes. The verb be, right? Buy, el verbo be como una auxiliar. If we are talking a pair, that's plural. So, a new pair of shoes is both. Y usted me dice, pero shoes es plural. Yes, but when we talk about a new pair, Esto nos indica un singular, ¿ok? So, a new pair of shoes is bought by the girl. Now, if you have a, a sentence in the simple past, the boys bought colored jeans. ¿Ok? The boys bought. This is the verb buy in past. Este es el verbo comprar en pasado. So, that means that the auxiliary is the one that goes in past. Quiere decir que es el auxiliar el que va a ir en pasado. Right? So, color jeans. Ah, ¿por qué? Because color jeans was the object. Fue lo que se compró, ¿no? El objeto. Color jeans were the verb to be in the simple past. Bought by the boys. Fueron comprados. So, if you see, in the simple present, if you have the simple present in the active voice, we have right or rights. That simple present is or are written in the passive voice. Wrote, simple past, was or were written. Okay. Before continuing, there's something else. Antes de continuar, hay algo más. Not all sentences can be passed from active to passive. No todas las oraciones pueden pasar de la voz activa a la voz pasiva. Why, you tell me. Okay, ¿por qué me pregunta usted? If you remember, I told you that you needed an object. Si se recuerdan, yo les decía que usted necesitaba un objeto. Right? Oops, sorry. Okay, let's see, let's see. You remember, uh, we said that Monica Monica hits the teacher. You see, Monica is a very violent girl. Monica hits the teacher. Shame on you, Monica. Okay, so if you remember, the structure goes like this. We have subject, right? Plus the verb. Plus 
the complement, right? That's the basic structure. Esa es la estructura básica. Now, you have the subject and you see, in this case, the expression, the expression, the teacher, this is the object. Este es el objeto. Why? Because it answers the questions. Contesta la pregunta. I'm sorry. It answers the questions. What? Who? Contesta la pregunta. ¿Qué o quién? Okay, now this is when, when the complement, cuando el complemento, answers the questions, what or who, we are talking about a uh, something that is called direct object. Okay. So, Monica hits the teacher. Now look. With a stone. Con una piedra. Okay, what is hit? The teacher. ¿Qué es lo que se golpeó? Oh, the teacher. ¿Con qué? ¿O por qué? So, when you have, cuando el complemento o el objeto contesta las preguntas, why, por qué, ok, or by whom, I'm sorry, for whom, in this case, we have something different. Acá tenemos algo distinto. This is an object also. Es un objeto. But this is called indirect object. Este es un objeto indirecto. ¿Ok? A ver, quiere decir que si el complemento contesta las preguntas ¿qué o quién? es objeto directo. Si el complemento contesta las preguntas ¿por qué o por quién? es un objeto indirecto. ¿Ok? Now, if we have an object, this sentence can be, can be made into a passive voice. Esta oración puede hacerse en voz pasiva. Remember, this sentence is in active voice. The attention, the attention, the main idea focus on who performs the action. Se enfoca en quien ejecuta la acción. Okay? Monica. Monica hits the teacher with a stun. Now, in the passive voice, en la voz pasiva, it is different because the action focus on who receives the action, right? So, something very interesting is this. Acá tenemos dos objetos, mire. Direct object and indirect object. Any of them can be the subject of the passive voice. Cualquiera de ellos puede ser el objeto de la voz pasiva. So, you can say, the teacher, ok, yo les decía, we use an auxiliary. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que les dije que usamos? To be. Exactly, the verb be. The teacher is. El verbo hit in past participle, este es un verbo interesante. Es el mismo, no cambia. The teacher is hit. With a stone, con una piedra, by Mónica. Now, something else that is very interesting is this. The subject of the active voice, el sujeto de la voz activa, comes in the passive voice 
at the end. Viene siempre al final. And before it, you always have by. Siempre usted le pone by. In this case, it is called, en este caso se le llama agent. Es llamado el agente. This is grammar. Es simplemente gramática, ¿ok? Don't pay too much attention to it. It's just for you to know. Es para que ustedes más o menos lo comprendan. Now, I told you that any object could be the subject. Yo les dije que cualquier sujeto podría volverse el... Cualquier objeto, perdón, podría volverse el sujeto. So, I'm sorry. With a stun is hit the teacher by Monica. Right? With a stun is hit the teacher by Monica. Now, you see, si usted se fija ahora, utilizamos el objeto indirecto. It depends on what you want to emphasize. Ahí depende de qué es lo que usted quiere enfatizar. Now, something that I told you is that not all sentences can be made from active to passive. No todas pueden pasar de activa a pasiva. Why? Because you need a transitive verb. Usted necesita un verbo transitivo. What is that? It's very simple. It's the verb that the action is performed and received. So, a transitive verb is the one that its action is performed. Es aquel que su acción, la acción que representa, es ejecutada and received. Okay. Oh, by the way, this sentence is in passive voice. Por cierto, esta oración es en voz pasiva. Look, it's the one that its action is performed and received. You see? Very simple. That's a transitive verb. Y usted me dice, ¿y hay unos que no lo hagan? Yes, those are called intransitive. One example of an intransitive verb is this. Look. Un ejemplo de esto podría ser la siguiente. The baby cried all night. Okay. What is the subject here, guys? ¿Cuál es, la, cuál es el sujeto acá? The baby. Okay, that's the baby. What's the action? ¿Cuál es la acción? Cried. 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 Okay. What's the compliment? All Cried. night. Okay. But the baby cried. Cried. Lloró. El bebé lloró en la noche. Responde alguna de estas preguntas. What? Who? Why? For whom? Yes. Es? ¿Quién? Responde la pregunta. El bebé lloró. Sí. ¿Ese lloró? No. ¿Quién fue llorado? Nadie. ¿Por qué fue llorado? No sabemos. ¿Por oh, qué? Yeah, yeah. Tampoco. So, this is intransitive. The action is performed. La acción es ejecutada, pero nadie la recibe. You see? The action is performed, okay. but it's not received. That is intransitive. Esta oración... Todo tiene que ver, teacher, eh, perdón, yes. todo tiene que ver con el verbo. Todo gira en torno al verbo y la forma Exactly. Lo... Ok. Lo que pasa es esto, y para hacerlo un poquito más fácil. Ah, ah, ah. El verbo es la acción. La acción se ejecuta por alguien, es el sujeto. Si nosotros nos enfocamos en quién hizo la acción, voz activa. Robert participó en la clase. ¿Cuál es la acción? Participar. ¿Quién participó? Robert. Ah, ¿dónde va al inicio? Entonces nos enfocamos en quién participó. Robert participó 
representando a su grupo. Robert participó representando a su grupo. Ok, ¿cuál es la acción? Participar. ¿Por qué participó? Ah, para representar a su grupo. Ok, Robert participó representando a su grupo. Ok, pero esa oración puede ser pasada a voz pasiva. La acción es ejecutada. Robert participó, pero es recibida por alguien o por algo. No realmente. Sí, por... No. No, Robert participó pero, representando al grupo. Representando... representando al grupo es participado Robert. Es participado por Robert. No, ¿verdad? The key is this. La clave es esto. Es hecho, es participado, es comido, es golpeado. Póngale eso antes del verbo y vea si es recibido por alguien. ¿Quién es participado? Nadie. ¿Por qué? No dice. ¿Por quién? Ah, uh ah. -uh. So, son verbs, en este caso es una oración intransitiva. Porque la acción intransitiva, escuchen, no transita, no pasa de uno al otro. ¿Sí? Ok. I teach the class. I teach the English class every night. I teach the English class every night. Entonces Robert le dice, a, Walter le pregunta, hey Robert, eh, ¿quién, ¿quién da la clase? Ah, no, o le pregunta, hey Robert, ¿cuándo dan la clase? Y Robert le dice, oh, the class is taught. La clase es dada every night, todas las noches. Es más, no, Walter ni le preguntó por quién. O sea que el sujeto de la activa no interesa. No siempre es necesario. Él puede dar la información extra. The class is taught every night by teacher Douglas. ¿No sí? So, those are passive boys. Don't worry, guys. No se preocupen, we are not done yet. No hemos terminado, ¿ok? We still got tomorrow and tomorrow we are going to do exercises. Mañana nos vamos a enfocar en ejercicios. That way you are going to, like, to get a little bit more practice. When you get practice, it becomes easier. Let's continue with the presentation, ¿ok? So, the passive voice, the pronouns. Los pronombres cambiaron, ¿verdad? Como se volvió el sujeto, se vuelve agente. Va al final, ¿verdad? Entonces, I becomes by me. You by you. She by her. He by him. It by it. We by us. You by you. They by them. Notice always after by. Siempre el agente va después de by. ¿Ok? And always at the end. Y siempre al final. El que era sujeto de la activa se volvió agente en la pasiva. Y va al final. ¿Ok? So, this is for tomorrow. Eso lo veremos mañana. The exercises. Don't worry. Now, I want you to take it easy. Quiero que lo tomen con calma. Check it out again. Revísenlo de nuevo. The PDF. Take notes. Prepare your questions. Cualquier duda, prepárenla. Tomorrow, we are going to set apart like half an hour just for that. Mañana vamos a apartar una media hora solo para eso. Ok. The idea is for, for the topic to be clear. La idea es que el tema quede claro. Yo sé que en este momento we are like, no too much. Yo sé que todavía estamos con muchas dudas que no terminamos de captar. Don't worry. Don't worry. Take it easy. Tranquilos. I knew that the topic was kind of complex, but we are going to cover it. Lo vamos a cubrir. Okay. Up to now, hasta este momento donde hemos llegado. Is there any question? No. Oh, by the way, there's also some exercises in the platform. También hay unos ejercicios en la plataforma. You can try them. Puede tratar de hacerlos. Okay. And... Remember, with the exercise on the platform, there's not a problem. Ahí no hay problema. If you make a mistake, the platform is going to take your highest grade. Si usted se equivoca, la plataforma le va a tomar siempre la nota más alta. So you can do it more than once. Lo puede hacer más de una vez. 
and the platform is going to register to me. A mí me manda el resultado de la plataforma of your highest grade, su nota más alta, okay? And remember, for tomorrow is the platform, the first section. Mañana se supone que terminamos la primera unidad. So, you must finish it. Yes, Catherine, tomorrow is class five. Mañana es la clase cinco. Okay? Any question, guys? Preguntas? No? Okay. Catherine, tell me something. Cuénteme algo. Como que. <laughs> okay, like, tell me, what is it, uh, what is it, what is it talked at church every Saturday? ¿Cómo, cómo? <laughs> what is it taught? Nosotros la voz pasiva la entenderíamos más como que se enseña. You see? What is it taught? That question is in is a passive voice question. Esa pregunta es en voz pasiva. What is it taught at church? Vean la pregunta. I share it in the in the Zoom chat. What is it taught? El is como auxiliar, el verbo teach eh, en pasado participio. As I told you, nosotros no pensamos tanto de es enseñado, sino que nosotros decimos más se enseña. Okay? That's the idea. So, what is it taught at church? ¿Qué se enseña? Pues, sobre la palabra de Dios. Okay, about the gospel. The gospel. Okay. The gospel. gospel. Yeah, gospel is also a term used for the for the Christian music. También se utiliza para la música cristiana. Ooh, no sabía. Okay. Now, let's see uh, 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 Jaime. Hello. Tell me, Hello. what is it done in your department? What is it done in your department? Um, I am trying, I am teach metal. Okay, in my department, repeat in after my me. In my department is taught, is taught, Methods. Metal. Ok. ¿Qué está diciendo? En mi departamento se enseña. Se enseña métodos. Sí, porque yo no le, yo no me, no me estoy enfocando tanto en quién lo hace, sino en qué se hace. Ok. Ah, La pregunta, sí. si se fija, no se enfoca en quién lo enseña. No. En sino Ajá. qué es lo que se enseña. So, in my department is taught. Recordemos eso. Miren, la clave va a ser esto es poner ese C antes del verbo. Is. Ese es el is. En yeah. mi departamento se enseña. ¿Ok? Is taught. Okay. Methods. Ok. Methods. What else? Um, step by step. And quality. Ok. And process. And follow up. And, and follow up. Yeah. Um, progress. Uh, um, graphic. Graphics and progress. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. 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 Mañana nos vamos a meter en eso, en los ejemplos, y van a ver que va a ser más fácil. La gramática, sí, la estructura se ve complejo. Pero si se fijan, ya en estas pequeñas oraciones, como que se vuelve más práctico. ¿Ok? Remember, 
no es tanto verlo desde el punto de vista gramatical, sino a la hora de aplicarlo. ¿Qué se enseña? ¿Qué se trabaja? ¿Ok? En mi área se trabaja, en mi área se enseña, ¿ok? En mi departamento se cose, en mi departamento se reparan máquinas. ¿Y sí? That's passive voice. Eso es la voz pasiva. And it's very simple. So the structure, the grammar structure is kind of complex, but it's good. Siempre es buena because it, it is a guide, es una guía. But it's also very important for you to understand the idea. También es importante que comprendamos la idea. If we get the idea, the structure becomes a tool. Si nosotros ya tenemos la idea, la estructura se va a volver una herramienta. To make things easier. Para hacer las cosas más fáciles. So, don't worry about this topic. Tranquilos. Tomorrow we are going to finish and you will see that it's easy. Van a ver que sí va a estar fácil. Okay, guys, let me get the attendance, final attendance. Believe it or not, it's time. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemos. Present. Uh, Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Present, teacher. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present. Xiomara si Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Present, teacher. Ana María Rivas Durán. Present, teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present, teacher. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present, teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present, teacher. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Thank you, Robert. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Nelson Stanley Cardón Hernández. Present teacher. Mónica, stay at the end, please, a second. Se me queda un segundito. Nelson Stanley Cardona. Present teacher. Thank you, mister. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Víctor, ya, y quiero saber. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sencente. Present. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. José Edwin Valle Franco. Present. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your patience. Realmente aprecio su paciencia. I know these topics are like heavy, but believe me, tomorrow we're going to make it. Thank you very much. Really appreciate you being here. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay, have a good night. Good night, Jaime. Good night, good night teacher. Good night, guys. Bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. Oh, good night. Bye -bye. Good night. <clears throat> good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you. Gracias a usted, teacher. Thanks to you, my dear. Thanks to you. Good night. Have a good one. Hi, Monica. 
Hello, teacher. How are you? Permítame. Monica, look. Eh, I have seen your advance. He visto su avance, but I want you to work in a little something. Necesito que me trabaje un poquito en algo. Mm -hmm. In pronunciation, en la pronunciación. Mm. Okay. Porque a veces usted entiende las palabras, pero a la hora de pronunciarlas le está costando. Se me trabó la lengua. Ok, sí, Mónica. Pero el problema es que usted se pone nerviosa y se ríe y ahí se queda. La verdad, sí. Hold on a second, please. Permítame un okay, segundo. Dice. Ok, now. Perdón. Eh, vaya. Es normal, no se preocupe, no, no es crítica, ¿ok? A todos nos ha pasado, tranquila. Pero hay una serie de ejercicios que le pueden ayudar. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, se recuerda, creo que lo hablé con usted la vez pasada. Busque canciones, escúchelas. ¿A usted le gusta la música, no? Sí, demasiado. Okay. Busque canciones en inglés que le gustan. Que sean un poquito viejitas. Que sean lentas. Escúchelas. Solamente escúchelas. No me busque con letra que quiero saber qué dice. No nos importa lo que dice, ¿ok? En este momento no nos importa lo que dice. ¿Qué es lo que nos importa? We need to focus on pronunciation. We need to focus on the movement. On vocalization. ¿Ok? Okay. So, you look for songs that you like. I need you to listen to them. Quiero que las escuche. One time, two times, three times. La oye dos, tres veces. Con tres veces que usted lo oyó, pero prestándole atención. La cuarta vez, trate de oírla y trate de ver qué palabras usted puede decir. Como son canciones que usted le pueden llamar la atención, se le vuelve más fácil a uno. ¿Ok? Ok. Luego, busca la misma canción, pero con la letra en inglés. Entonces, va a hacer usted algo. Va a ir escuchando, va a ir leyendo y va a ir tratando de formar las palabras con la boca sin pronunciarlas, sin hacer sonido. ¿Ok? Just like. Solo la mímica. Uh -huh. Pero imaginándose que las está diciendo como la oye. That's going to help your muscles To move, eso le va a ayudar a que los músculos que se ven eh, miscuidos en el habla se acostumbren. Because in a different language, uh, different muscles, los músculos traba son los mismos músculos, pero trabajan distinto. ¿Ok? Ok. So, then, luego, la misma, la escucha, la lee y trata de ir produciendo el sonido. Now I explain to you why. Ahora le explico por qué. Si usted la escucha y comienza a quererla decir en inglés, usted se está acostumbrando a los sonidos. Cuando usted ya se aprendió los sonidos, se le va a hacer más fácil el reproducir esos sonidos. Pero si usted comienza a escucharla y a leerla, el problema es que su mente le va a tirar el idioma que usted ya domina leído, que es el español. ¿Right? ¿Qué es lo que nos está pasando, verdad? <risa> Un poco. Y las pronunciamos como las leemos, como las entendemos, y es, es lógico. I mean, that's normal. Es lo más normal. Entonces, I would like you to try that. Me gustaría que tratase eso. Créame, le va a ayudar. Particularmente porque me dice que si le gusta la música, entonces le va a ayudar. Le va a ayudar a pronunciar. Entonces, mientras más... Usted haga el ejercicio mientras más palabras usted vaya agarrando, aunque usted no sepa qué significan. Cuando usted encuentre palabras nuevas, su mente va a estar más acostumbrada a los sonidos del otro idioma. Y se le va a hacer más fácil hasta decirlos, porque a veces usted tiene la idea cómo suena, pero como que se traba la boca, ¿verdad? Y usted sabía que se pronunciaba de una manera, pero lo dijo de otra. Sí. Ok. Es porque todavía no están acostumbrados los músculos. Pero si usted hace el ejercicio, yo le aseguro, you're gonna make it. ¿Qué le parece la idea? 
la verdad había empezado a trabajar así como se me había dicho con esa recomendación, pero me pausé porque he perdido mis audífonos, entonces como que tengo que buscarlos otra vez. <ríe> Pues búsquelos, búsquelos, búsquelos. ¿Y qué le parece si dentro de una semana me cuenta cómo vamos? Ok, no hay problema. ¿Sí? Sí, teacher. Usted me ayuda recordándome cómo vamos con ese ejercicio y yo veo si pasamos a otro nivel o si le damos un poquito más de tiempo, ejercicios un poquito más complejos de pronunciación. Pero comencemos con eso, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Have a good night, Monica, and thanks for Good staying. night. Gracias por quedarse. Y nada, gracias a usted, teacher. My pleasure. Have a good night. Well, that's it for tonight. Very nice class. Bye-bye.